is popping, ladies and gentlemen. It is now, what is today? July 5th? Oh my gosh, this year is going way too fast. But listen, I'm here to give you guys some bad news in the gaming world. Let me turn this quality up a little bit. All right, I'm not doing that because it looked rough still. Anyways, I'm here to talk about the death of Exo Primal. So it came out as news today that Exo Primal's done. Capcom came and said, we're not doing any more updates. What you guys got is what you got. That's it. You know, it is what it is. But I wanted to cover a few things and talk about... <sighs> Goodness. I don't want to seem like a person that rants all the time. You know what I mean? Like, I love doing hot takes, but I don't want to have to rant on things all the time. My name, I'm about to change my name to Kevin Durant. Like, at this point, that's how I got to feel, and this is why. I find myself having to justify what this modern society of gamers do. Now, you may say, what does this have to do anything with modern gamers or any of that type of stuff? So let me explain. When these games come out, right, Exo Primal was a different type of multiplayer slash co-op type game, right? Was it the greatest idea ever made? No. But was it something different? Absolutely. Dinosaurs raining from the sky and you and your friends getting together to jump in different mech suits, exosuits, to have different classes, abilities, power-ups, all this type of stuff. You do that, and it's completely different than any other multiplayer we've played. There is no other multiplayer where dinosaurs are raining from the sky on console right now. So the idea of this was so unique and so different. And when this game first came out, I ran through it, I played it, I liked it. Did I think it was the greatest game ever? No. But I thought it was a fun game. I liked the game all the way up until the Gauntlet Mode came out. When the Gauntlet Mode came out and I see how they were doing it, and it was just pretty much timed modes and all that type of stuff, it was just corny to me. But the game was a good game. But I'm here to tell y'all the reason Exo Primal died. Exo Primal died because they wanted to put a focus on, we have these exosuits, but we have different versions of these exosuits instead of making more and more and more. They wanted to focus too much on the collabs. Let's give them Street Fighter. Let's give them Mega Man. Let's do all this extra stuff. But they didn't want to focus on the fact that you needed to keep game modes to keep running this. Give a domination mode. Give a team deathmatch mode. Regardless of what people say, those are the modes people look forward to seeing when they play any type of multiplayer game. And like I said, you guys, if this was free, we probably wouldn't have this problem. Now, in Game Pass, it was free. But that was it. But if this was a free-to-play game in general, then you had to earn the actual suits and you could get them by grinding and all that, it would have worked a little bit better. I don't think it would die as fast as it did, but it, it would it would have still died, but I don't think it would have been as fast as it did. Um, but yes, the mechanics were good in this. The graphics were okay. Um, but the modes lacked very bad. Um, the imbalance of when you got to a certain point and you and your team had to run against another team. And if they were ahead, they kind of had the advantage to set up. Like they just didn't think it all the way through, but I'm going to tell you all this. This is the reason why we won't keep getting new type of multiplayer games. Because every time a new multiplayer game comes out, if it's not your COD, or it's not a game that has similar modes to COD, or it's not like Rainbow Six where it's something unique and completely different as far as how you, you know, I mean, Rainbow Six was inspired by a lot. But if it's not your typical multiplayer that everybody's used to, it's not going to be supported. It's just what it is. That's how this gaming world works. So to see a game by a big time company just go like this, it it sucks. It really does suck. I stopped playing EXO after I beat the story. I didn't like what they did with the the gauntlet and all that stuff. But at least I played it. At least I ran through this game. At least I did everything you could do up until the point of the gauntlet. I had a good time doing it. Me and my team, we had a good time doing it. 
But I keep telling you guys over and over and over again, if the game is not based like other multiplayer games, it won't work. Every time something unique tries to come out, the last unique multiplayer to come out that actually worked was Overwatch 1. Because there was something we never seen before. Like There was other games that were similar. But Overwatch 1 was like different. It was like, oh shoot, this is a different style of multiplayer. I got to rely on my team. I got to rely on a class. I got to rely on what hero I want to do. So a lot of other games said, yo, I want to take that formula and do what, what, call, what people try to do with Call of Duty. I wanted to try to emulate that, but do it in a different way. Make the maps a little different. Make the game. Like, that's what people wanted to do. And, and, and it didn't work for all these other hero shooters because everyone's like, nah, they're just copying Overwatch, right? So with Exo Primal, it was completely unique and different. We as gamers always complain, I want something new. I want new ideas. We want something that's creative. This is, this is what we do as gamers. When it comes to multiplayer, we don't know what we want. We don't want new. We say we want new, we get new, and then we don't support it. Is that me saying this game was so good there's no way y'all should have dissed it? No. That's me saying that when a new multiplayer game comes out or a new co-op comes out and you already have negative impact on it, like Conquered, which is coming out, then people are going to say, nah, I'm good. I don't want to mess with it. This game had nothing to do with the collabs. This game had nothing to do with the graphics, with the exosuits. This game had all to do with the lack of game modes. This game had all to do with the way they did the story, which was, I didn't mind it, but it was a weird way. The lack of um, different variety of enemies. There, there was no, the enemies in this, that when they brought out the the um, dark versions of the enemies, the shadow versions and all that type of stuff, that was fire. The Neo Triceratops and all that was cool ideas, but you didn't give enough. There's a trillion dinosaurs you guys could pick from, and you guys just kept picking the same ones for us to fight over and over and over and over again. They could have did fusion versions of the dinosaurs. They could have did a T-Rex mixed with a raptor like Jurassic Park. Like, there was so much they could have done that they just didn't do. So I'm here to say today, I wish I had some rest in peace music, but rest in peace to a game that had a lot of potential. That was fun to play. It should have been free to play. Um, Capcom, feel sorry for y'all, but y'all also should have used more of your games that you have. Because you, if you were going to do collabs, you own so much more games. You guys, Capcom, you guys own everything. You only went to do Monster Hunter, Mega Man, and Street Fighter? You own everything. And they should have made them different classes, like complete different classes, man. I'm just This whole um, Zephyr A version, Zephyr B version, like that was, that was a cool idea, but it, it wasn't utilized enough. And, and we got updates whenever y'all wanted to do them, and they just weren't fun. They just weren't fun. But rest in peace, EXO. Man, I wish y'all could have worked. I wish Capcom said, hey, let's get a lot more game modes instead of just focusing on different EXO suits. Let's get a lot more game modes and a better variety of enemies and interchanging maps. Make it where it's not just the dinosaurs. Make it where there's natural disasters happening. Imagine we were playing and all of a sudden there was like um, building alert. And all of a sudden the buildings are literally starting to fall. And your teammates got to make it out of that area before you all die. Make a tidal wave. You got to hurry up and beat this because the tidal wave is going to come through. And it's going to flood the entire city due to the, um, the rifts creating um, bad weather. There was so much they could have done. So much they could have done. But now here we are. Rest in peace, Exo Primal. Um, you lived out your years as much as you can, but it isn't just going to be Exo dying. A lot of these games are going to be dying because gamers are being more and more picky. Gamers are being more and more strict on how games are made, which isn't bad. But at the end of the day, new ideas will never flourish. And I, that scares me because in the world of gaming, if you're trying to develop a game, you might not have a chance. You know why? Because people might knock that game before they even get to play it. Before they even get to try it. I guarantee you all the negative remarks in Exo Primal are people that actually didn't play this game. Because that's the era we live in. But thank you guys for watching. Your boy A0. I am out. Y'all have a blessed day. Peace.